Well, another big story we're following tonight were hundreds of animals wrongly put to death at the Niagara County SPCA. News 4's Rachel Kingston is on this story tonight. Rachel? The disturbing allegations against Niagara County SPCA Executive Director John Faso surfaced over the weekend. Sources tell the Niagara Gazette that under Faso's watch, hundreds of cats and dogs with treatable illnesses or injuries have been either euthanized or simply left without medical care. John Faso, executive director of the Niagara County SPCA, is under fire. According to the Niagara Gazette, Faso is accused of wrongly euthanizing hundreds of animals and allowing others to go without crucial veterinary care. The allegations were first made on New Year's Eve by Carrie McAlley, a former vet tech for the SPCA, and board member Kathy Paradowski. McAlley and Paradowski told the Gazette injured animals are routinely brought into the shelter and left suffering in cages for days. Some of the uh, revelations that were in the press over the weekend about the possible maltreatment of animals I think are very shocking. The city of Niagara Falls contracts with the SPCA to provide certain services. Now, says Mayor Paul Deister, that may change. I think we're going to try to figure out what it is that's happening, look at our various options, and uh, maybe this is a good time to uh, reevaluate where we stand in terms of our relationship with SPCA. In a statement, SPCA President Brandy Scrufari tells News 4 the Board of Directors takes the allegations very seriously and that the Board will investigate to determine the veracity of these statements. Because the SPCA's board of directors needs time to sort out what's fact and what isn't, Scrufari tells me it's unlikely any action will be taken before the board's next meeting during the second week of January. For now, John Faso is still the SPCA's executive director. Live in the newsroom, Rachel Kingston, News 4 at 5.